This is the Baofeng UV 5R dual band handheld ham radio and today I'm going to use it to make contacts on the other side of the country. This radio was my first radio. It's the one that got me into the hobby about three years ago and I still use it all the time. Great radio. Today I'm at Roswell Area Park which is just north of Atlanta, Georgia and this is one of my favorite spots to come and mess around with ham radio. I've done contests here. I come here quite a bit great spot and today is a gorgeous day to mess around with RF. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to make a contact or two using this radio uh, out to the west coast, maybe California or Washington. Then I'm going to explain how that's possible and how Echolink works. And finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about why this radio is so controversial. Let's get going. This is K4BBL in North Georgia, uh, linked in via Echo Link using my handheld. I'm doing a YouTube demonstration. Is anyone in Washington able available for a quick QSO? N7 IVF. This is K4BBL. Name here is Brian, and I'm in a park in North Georgia, just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Where are you? Uh, Roger that. This is November 7, Romeo Victor Fox. I'm uh, just outside of Seattle in a little town called Renton. This is uh, the Bears, uh, the Boeing Amateur Radio Club uh, site. Ah, oh, that's excellent. Well, I sure appreciate you getting back to me. What type of uh, equipment are you using? Uh, let's see, I've got an ICOM IC229 into an ISO pole. Are you at your QTH or are you mobile today? Roger that. Well, I won't tie up the repeater. I uh, hope that's a good event for you today. Um, I'm here in North Georgia. I'm using my handheld uh, Baofeng uh, going into a repeater on Sweat Mountain. Uh, it's our club repeater for North Fulton and uh, North Fulton uh, Amateur Radio League. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm making a YouTube video. So I hope you don't mind if I uh, put you on my channel. I don't get too many views, so uh, you won't be famous. Roger that, that's okay with me, and 7 RVF. All right, seven threes to you and seven RVF. I really appreciate you coming back to me. Uh, have a great day out west, and uh, thanks again. Seven three. The same back to you and seven RVF, and I'll be clear. Disconnected. All right, so that was cool. Talked to someone just outside of Seattle, Washington, using my handheld. Uh, he was at his house and using a base station, uh, going into a repeater uh, close to Olympia, Washington. So great contact. So I just had a really nice contact uh, in Southern California. Uh, he said he was about 40 miles south of Los Angeles. Unfortunately, I didn't record it, so uh, you don't get to hear that one. But let's try a uh, let's try a repeater in Arizona. This is K4BBL in North Georgia. I'm doing a YouTube demonstration video of Echolink. I'm connected to a local repeater here using my handheld. Anyone in Arizona available for a quick QSO? Wow, 
Wow, thanks for coming back to me. I appreciate it. I didn't get the whole call sign. Uh, my call is K4BBL, and the name here is Brian. Roger that, Gary. Uh, again, thanks for coming back to me. I'm in uh, I'm in a park just north of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and like I said, I got my handheld uh, into my local repeater connected to you through Echo Link. So I appreciate you coming back to me. Your audio is a bit scratchy, but I can definitely make you out. Well, I got some shade. I think it'll get up to 90 today. Luckily, there's some clouds, so it's not too bad. Uh, not Probably not nearly as hot as it is where you are, Gary. Well, that is hot. Um, Gary, I really appreciate you coming back to me. And yeah, turning up to high power uh, definitely uh, improved uh, the uh, readability of your audio. So thank you for that. And thank you for coming back to me. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm doing a YouTube demonstration. So I don't want to tie up uh, both repeaters here on uh, the east and the west for too long. But I do want to say 7-3 to you. Thank you for coming back to me. And uh, have a great day in Arizona, Gary. Call sign here is Kilo 4 Bravo Bravo Lima, K4 BBL, Kilo 4 Bravo Bravo Lima. So how was I making contacts all the way across the country just using my Baofeng handheld? Well, I was using a system called Echolink, and Echolink uses the internet, voice over internet protocol, VOIP, uh, to retransmit my voice and send it to other repeaters. When I was transmitting, I was going to my local repeater, which is basically what it sounds like. It takes my transmission and repeats it. It uses a better antenna and more power, so it extends the range of this handheld radio to a much bigger area. I can use this to talk locally 20, 30, uh, maybe even more miles away. <clears throat> but that repeater that I was using is hooked to Echolink and the internet. So what I was doing was connecting my repeater with repeaters in Washington and Arizona and linking those two together. So then when I was transmitting, my voice was coming out not only on my local repeater, but also the repeaters in those other areas. Now there's Echolink repeaters that you can link to all over the world. I just chose the West Coast because uh, time zone differences and so on. But you can actually talk to other countries, connect to uh, wide area networks, and even conferences. The great part about Echolink is you can do it with a radio using RF, or you can actually even use your phone or tablet or PC to connect to Echolink, 
and use that as your radio and then have your transmissions come out uh, on repeaters all over the world. So it's a great way with a inexpensive radio as well as only a technician's license to uh, talk to people all over the world. It's a great system. Okay, so I've made some contacts on the other side of the country and I've explained how Echo Link works. Now let's talk about the Baofeng and why it's controversial. First of all, it's inexpensive. Like I said, you can get one for probably between $25 and $35. And there's a lot of gatekeeping that goes on in amateur radio. Some people in the hobby want it to be expensive, want it to be hard uh, to keep you know, everyone out to make it kind of an exclusive club. I think that's wrong, but it happens. Also, uh, some of these radios can also have some lesser build quality. Uh, when you select a frequency and transmit on that frequency, sometimes they might transmit uh, on, on a wider spectrum, uh, something called harmonics, uh, what we call a dirty signal, and that's a problem. The third reason these are so controversial is they're sold as walkie-talkies. So a lot of people buy these, use them without a license, and they can interfere not only with amateur radio uh, hobbyists, but some of these can transmit on bands uh, outside of amateur radio, so even some emergency bands in some cases. So you don't want people out there, uh, unlicensed people, using these radios uh, and transmitting and maybe interfering with uh, emergency radio traffic. So these are a bit controversial, but they're really, really popular. It wouldn't surprise me if the UV5R is one of the best-selling ham radios of all time. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, watching me make some contacts in the park today. Thanks for watching.